In physical oceanography, undertow is the undercurrent that is moving offshore when waves are approaching the shore. Undertow is a natural and universal feature for almost any large body of water, it is a return flow compensating for the onshore directed average transport of water by the waves in the zone above the wave troughs. The undertow's flow velocities are generally strongest in the surf zone, where the water is shallow and the waves are high due to shoaling. In popular usage, the word undertow is often misapplied to rip currents. An undertow occurs everywhere underneath shore approaching waves, whereas rip currents are localized narrow offshore currents occurring at certain locations along the coast. Unlike undertow, rip currents are strong at the surface. Topic. Oceanography An undertow is a steady, offshore-directed compensation flow, which occurs below waves near the shore. Physically, near shore, the wave-induced mass flux between wave crest and trough is onshore-directed. This mass transport is localized in the upper part of the water column, i.e. above the wave troughs. To compensate for the amount of water being transported towards the shore, a second order i.e. proportional to the wave height squared, offshore directed mean current takes place in the lower section of the water column. This flow, the undertow, affects the nearshore waves everywhere, unlike rip currents localized at certain positions along the shore, the term undertow is used in scientific coastal oceanography papers. The distribution of flow velocities in the undertow over the water column is important as it strongly influences the on or offshore transport of sediment. Outside the surf zone there is a near-bed onshore directed sediment transport induced by stokes drift and skewed asymmetric wave transport. In the surf zone, strong undertow generates a near-bed offshore sediment transport. These antagonistic flows may lead to sand bar formation where the flows converge near the wave breaking point, or in the wave breaking zone. <laughs> Seaward mass flux An exact relation for the mass flux of a nonlinear periodic wave on an inviscid fluid layer was established by Levi Savita in 1924. In a frame of reference according to Stokes' first definition of wave celerity, the mass flux m w of the wave is related to the wave's kinetic energy density e k integrated over depth and thereafter averaged over wavelength and phase speed c display style c through m w equals 2 e k c display style m underscore w equals frac 2 e underscore k c Similarly, Longwet Higgins showed in 1975 that, for the common situation of zero mass flux towards the shore i.e. Stokes' second definition of wave celerity normal incident periodic waves produce a depth and time averaged undertow velocity u equals minus 2 e k rho c H display style bar u equals frac 2 e underscore k rho c h with h display style h the mean water depth and rho display style rho the fluid density the positive flow direction of u display style bar u is in the wave propagation direction. For small amplitude waves, there is equipartition of kinetic E K display style E underscore K 
and potential energy e p display style e underscore p e w equals e k plus e p approximately equals 2 e k approximately equals 2 e p Display style e underscore w equals e underscore k plus e underscore p approximately two e underscore k approximately two e underscore p with e w display style e underscore w the total energy density of the wave integrated over depth and averaged over horizontal space. Since in general the potential energy E P display style E underscore P is much easier to measure than the kinetic energy, the wave energy is approximately E W approximately equals one eight Rho G H two Display style E underscore W approximately TFRAC one eight row GH carrot two with H display style H the wave height. So U approximately equals minus one eight G H two C H display style bar U approximately frac 1 8 frac G H carrot 2 C H for irregular waves the required wave height is the root mean square wave height H R M S approximately equals 8 sigma Display style h underscore text rms approximately sqrt eight sigma with sigma display style sigma the standard deviation of the free surface elevation. The potential energy is e p equals one two rho G Sigma two Display style E underscore P equals T F R A C one two Rho G Sigma carrot two and E W approximately equals Rho G Sigma two Display style e underscore w approximately rho g sigma caret two. The distribution of the undertow velocity over the water depth is a topic of ongoing research. Topic: Confusion with rip currents. In contrast to undertow, rip currents are responsible for the great majority of drownings close to beaches. When a swimmer enters a rip current, it starts to carry them offshore. The swimmer can exit the rip current by swimming at right angles to the flow, parallel to the shore, or by simply treading water or floating. However, drowning may occur when swimmers exhaust themselves by trying unsuccessfully to swim directly against the flow. On the United States Lifesaving Association website it is noted that some uses of the word undertow are incorrect. A rip current is a horizontal current. Rip currents do not pull people under the water they pull people away from shore. Drowning deaths occur when people pulled offshore are unable to keep themselves afloat and swim to shore. This may be due to any combination of fear, panic, exhaustion, or lack of swimming skills. 
In some regions rip currents are referred to by other, incorrect terms such as rip tides and undertow. We encourage exclusive use of the correct term, rip currents. Use of other terms may confuse people and negatively impact public education efforts. Topic. See also Longshore current, a current parallel to the shoreline caused by waves approaching at an angle to the shoreline.